Hey there, it's Olivia Roberts, MAPS coach and a bold coach at Keller Williams Realty and the team leader of the Keller Williams Realty Parish Ride Partners. Today, we're going to talk about how to succeed as a part-time real estate agent. We have that question. First, let's start here. Being professional is one of the most important criteria of being a real estate agent, and you must invest the time to learn the skills, the strategies, and the systems to be great at it. So if you're going to be a part-time agent, you must be purposeful agents out there that want to just have a license and they do a deal every once in a while if something falls into their lap yet you aren't doing enough transactions to be familiar with the processes with all the things that go on with the disclosures and inspections and financing and all the other things that can happen in a real estate transaction so I'm a total proponent if you're gonna do real estate part-time you must be and a student of the industry so you can do it and still have a life Learn how to control your business. Learn how to master listings. Learn how to communicate your value proposition to your clients and potential clients. Learn to masterfully negotiate. Represent the best interest of your client. See, there are some really key things that you're gonna understand and be willing to do. So think of these as your keys to success as a part-time agent. Now, number one, be a part-time agent, not a sometime agent, right? What does that mean? Well, a sometime agent, they just do real estate sometimes. Whenever they have a deal fall in their lap or they may run across a buyer or seller, then all of a sudden, I'm a real estate agent. And yet, there's no proactive plan or strategy to be the best represent, represent, representative of your client. No plan to generate business and to create a consistent income. So if you're going to do it, be part-time, not sometime. Now, what does part-time look like? Well, here, think of it this way. If you worked at, took a second job at a Lowe's or a Best Buy or at any store, right? doesn't matter. If you work part-time, what's expected? Well, here's what's expected. You actually have a schedule. You're actually expected to follow that schedule. You, you show up when you're supposed to work, and it's not just whenever you're available or whenever you feel like it or you're bored. It is because that is your preset plan of the hours you work, right? There's an expectation to be as efficient and knowledgeable and with the same level of skills as a full-time employee. So you're not just there 30 or or uh, instead of being there 40 or 50 hours a week, you're maybe as a part-time, you're only there 20 or 30, and yet you give the same level of service, you have the same knowledge, and you grow yourself professionally, just the same as a, a, a full-time person would. So if you're gonna be a part-time real estate agent, be a part-time professional, not that sometime amateur. Have definite plans. See, real estate is such a great career, and it's such an important thing that you do as an agent where you literally, you're re literally representing the best interests of clients in one of the largest financial transactions of, in many of their lives. And it's also one of the biggest emotional transactions people can make. So represent them. Represent them well. They deserve it to have a professional who knows what they're doing. So here's what, here's what is required next. You need to prospect, prospect and follow up on your potential business. Follow up every thing. You know, you say, well, what if I'm only working two days a week or three days a week? That's okay. Just have a clear plan. And a part of that plan on those days that you're working has got to be you're actually generating business and you're following up on that potential business consistently. So typically that's an hour a day in your schedule to actually prospect for business and follow up on your potential business. Now, when you do that consistently, you'll actually generate business consistently, which means you'll actually begin to generate some income, again, that's consistent. And then what you got to do, and this is the thing, is it's being purposeful at knowing your chosen career, have a plan to develop the skills and the actual competency so that you can succeed in your chosen career. Know how to price homes competitively. Know how to communicate in a way that works for your client. Know what is going on in the marketplace. Practice your skills, practice your skills, practice your skills, and train every day. So you're in a business. Now here's one of the really important things about understanding real estate. You're in a business where you get paid based on how well you perform a task, how well you perform a service. So the better you are at prospecting and communicating with people, the better you are at helping them sell their house or finding a home, the better you perform. Now the better you are at the skills and strategies, the more effective you are with your clients. They are happy and then they, there's more money that you have an opportunity to, to to make. So you make the money that directly correlates to the level of service you provide. See, this is just like an athlete. The more, the better, the higher level the athlete performs, the more money they, may, they make, right? They get paid based on performance and so do you. So make sure you're practicing and developing the skills, the strategies, the conversations where you're using great dialogue. 
See, at Keller Williams, we can help with that. We teach you the skills, the strategies of what to say and how to say it so that it will help you go out and earn a great living. See, if you're in a company that is great training, attend that training, listen to good videos, listen to the audios, get online trainings, go to programs, go to events like Bold, Business Objective, Life by Design, go to Mega Camp, Family Reunion, go to the National Association of Realtors Convention, do the online training, the live training, make sure that you're, the company that you're with offers all of that. That way that you're learning and you're not practicing on your clients. See, there's, there's no career on the planet that virtually anybody can get into that you can get into as fast as, and as inexpensively it is to get into real estate and have the opportunity to create a six-figure income. So protect your clients, protect your industry, and be a purposeful, professional agent. All right, there you go. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, comment on the video or reach out to me at 318-688-1386. 318-688-1386. Signing off. Have a great day.